One problem with the standard distance is that it tends to ignore directionality of dispersion of the point pattern. We say that the standard distance statistic is isotropic. It ignores the potential for anisotropy. Iso means equal and tropos means direction. So an isotropic statistic is one that ignores or is one that assumes that, that the process is even in all directions. So the, for the case of a standard distance circle, the circle that we end up drawing gives us the impression that the dispersion occurs in all directions away from the mean center. Whereas in most point distributions, this isn't the case. So the standard, so it ignores the fact that the point distribution might be tilted or elongated in one direction and not the other. The standard deviational ellipse is the anisotropic analog to the standard distance circle. In this data set, uh, we have a point distribution and in the plot I'm showing you in the, with the blue circle the standard distance of the point distribution. And in the green ovals or the green ellipses I'm showing you the standard deviational ellipse. And what the ellipse allows us to see very quickly is that the points seem to me more dispersed in the direction of this axis and less dispersed in its transect in this axis over here. So the standard deviation ellipse gives us a better representative picture of the actual pattern of dispersion in our data set. The particular method that we use to calculate a standard deviational ellipse is beyond the scope of this course, but I do have some information here for those who are interested.